10 Facts About World War I It's one of the most well-documented conflicts in history, but how much do you know about World War I? Most of us are fairly well versed in many of the facts of World War I, with great battles such as the Somme and Battle of Passchendaele, but there are some that are so bizarre that they have been left out of schoolbooks entirely. In honor of the centennial of the Great War, here are the top 10 little-known facts about World War I that may surprise you. Fact number 1 there were special battalions for short soldiers. The British Army's minimum height requirement was 5 foot 3 inches, but many shorter men were caught up in the recruiting frenzy of August 1914 and were eager to enlist. The War Office reluctantly established a number of Bantam battalions attached to more conventional regiments. Many Bantams worked as coal miners, and their short stature and technical expertise were invaluable in the tunneling work that took place beneath the Western Front. However, Bantams were ineffective in battle, and by the end of 1916, the general fitness and condition of men volunteering as Bantams was no longer up to the required standard. It was difficult to maintain recruitment, Bantam battalions were increasingly forced to accept men of a normal height. And since a Bantam battalion is largely made up of taller men, the idea of Bantam battalions was quietly dropped after conscription was introduced in 1916. Fact number 2, Portuguese troops fought in the war. Portugal, like many other neutral countries, was enraged by German U-boat attacks on its merchant shipping. The Portuguese were also concerned that Germany's military campaign in Africa would spread to their colonies in Mozambique and Angola. Germany declared war on Portugal in March 1916. The Portuguese sent a military force to the Western Front in addition to patrolling the oceans and strengthening border controls in Africa. The Portuguese earned the respect of their more battle-hardened allies by standing firm against the Great German Offensive of Spring 1918. Fact number 3, Japan came to the rescue of the British in the Mediterranean. Before 1914, Britain's only formal alliance was with Japan, and it was intended to relieve the Royal Navy of some of the burden of defending Britain's Asian colonies. It was also to allow Britain and Japan to assist each other in safeguarding their respective interests in China and Korea. When the war broke out, the Japanese attacked German possessions in the Pacific and China, but Britain asked Japan for help with escort duties in the Mediterranean in 1917. The region was critical for supplying Allied armies in Italy and Greece, as well as maintaining communications with Africa, but German and Austrian submarines posed a threat to Allied navies. The Japanese, operating out of Malta, provided escorts for Allied merchant and troop convoys, as well as a search and rescue service for torpedoed ship crews. Japan's significant role in the war bolstered its claim to be recognized as a full-fledged great power by Americans and Europeans. Fact number 4 the war dragged on two weeks longer than you think.
Although we consider November 11, 1918 to be the end of the First World War, it actually lasted two weeks longer in Africa. The German commander, Paul von Ledevorbeck, had become a national hero in Germany for his ruthless guerrilla campaign against Britain's imperial forces in East Africa, forcing Africans to act as porters and destroying the local villages' economies in the process. By November 1918, Vorbeck had been forced into Portuguese Mozambique, but he still had 3,000 troops under his command and was launching raids into southern Rhodesia when news of the European armistice reached him. Unlike the German army in Europe, Vorbeck could consider his own force undefeated, and he decided to end the African war at his leisure. On November 25, two weeks after the armistice in Europe, he formally surrendered to the British in northern Rhodesia, modern Zambia. Fact number 5, tanks were developed by the British during the First World War. It was classified work. Even the factory workers who put the vehicles together were kept in the dark. They were informed that they were developing mobile water tanks for desert warfare. Tanks were originally referred to as landships, but this was changed to tanks in order to confuse the enemy. Fact number 6, the United States eventually joined the war. At the start of the war, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson declared neutrality, which was widely supported by the American people. However, after German U-boats sank U.S. merchant ships on April 6, 1917, the United States, now galvanized for war by the Zimmermann Telegram, declared war on Germany. Fact number 7 one battle lasted 300 days. From February to December 1916, the Battle of Verdun raged. The Germans surprised the French, and heavy artillery use accounted for 70% of the estimated 800,000 casualties. Nine French towns were completely destroyed, and while they were never rebuilt, their names can still be found on maps today. Fact number 8, The Deadliest Day The British Army suffered the greatest loss of life in a single day on July 1, 1916, when it suffered 57,470 casualties, including 19,240 fatalities, in the Battle of the Somme. Fact number 9, nine new countries existed. Following the collapse of the Austria-Hungarian Empire, Lithuania, Latvia, Finland, Poland, Austria, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, and Estonia were able to exist independently. Two of these states, Czechoslovakia and Yugoslavia, were newly formed. Fact number 10, Marx Brothers' mother buys farm. Minnie Schoenberg, the Marx brothers' mother, bought a farm and forced the brothers to work on it after learning that farmers were exempt from being drafted, so they wouldn't be called to fight in World War I. What did you think about our 10 facts about World War I? Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any future videos and updates.